The reason your manifestation hasn't arrived, probably the age-old question, right? And to answer that with clarity, I'm going to ask you two questions. If your desire showed up right now, could you handle it and would you be able to keep it? Remember, the only reason why you desire anything, which means that whenever you think of that desire, you light up in heart and mind, the mere thought of it feels so good and there isn't any interruption by negative thinking, is because it is for you. God, the universe, is not showing you what others have to make you feel left out. It is for you. You're experiencing the desire because you already have it. And God is showing you that you can access it now. So there's no question that what you desire is what you can have. It becomes a matter of how do you acquire it. When you become consciously aware and take ownership of the fact that you live in a vibrational reality, that your place of creation is within you, when you become consciously aware that the only reason why you want anything or anyone in this world is because you believe you will feel better for the having of it, then as you come to that understanding that it's not the person, not the paper, not the physical material object that you desire, but the feeling you want to experience at the root. And as you recognize and acknowledge that, all of those feelings are within you now and therefore exist within you now, then you would prioritize with the utmost of importance, tapping into that feeling whenever possible and by any means possible and give it to yourself now. And when you learn to revel in the power of that ability, you will experience the satisfaction of having it and you would never require the 3D reality or any person to be any different than it is now. And that is the difference between someone who is spending time efforting and trying and creating through ego with someone who understands the laws of the universe. Ultimately, what every teacher in manifestation is striving to express and get you to truly understand and experience is the fulfillment of knowing you have everything you could ever desire within you now, because everything you desire is a feeling. And by tapping into that feeling, to allow that emotional state to feel so good that it becomes enough just to feel it with no expectation of anything other than that experience, you will be uninterested in the 3D reality changing. And that is how you allow your desires to come forth. And if you would only allow yourself to immerse yourself in those feelings now, they could satisfy you enough to not allow 3D conditions to impact you negatively and it would remove the need to want for anything or anyone to change outside of you. This is what Dr. Joe Dispenza means when he instructs you to become bigger than your environment. That is why Abraham Hicks says that you are always in the perfect position to receive what it is that you want. That is why Eckhart Tolle encourages you through his books and talks to sit still and feel the fulfillment of the present moment. You have never not had access to what you want. You just didn't understand that what it is you want is a feeling and it is the feeling that you can have now because you create them. In other words, if you allow yourself to sit still just for a few minutes and give up focusing upon and thinking about and creating your action plans and make it your priority to conjure the feelings that you are withholding from yourself until someone else or something else inspires them within you now as it is, then it will be by the laws of the universe, by the laws in scripture, reinforced by every spiritual teacher that has ever been, that the new vibration you are offering will transcend into the tangible manifestations that you want to show off to everyone else. The relationship, the child, the house, the car, the vacation, the money, the clothes. But if you need to see it before you experience the feeling of it, before you like it, before you can touch it and experience it with all your senses here in the 3D, then you will remain stuck in the vibration of waiting and impatience, which spiral into why not me and why can't I have this and this isn't working for me? Because 
what you are effectively doing is striving to imagine and feel something within yourself for the sole purpose of feeling satisfaction once it has been brought forth into the 3D, which means you're putting yourself into a state of delayed gratification, of forcing yourself to postpone feeling the fulfillment of that desire until it manifests in the 3D. Whereas, when you take the time to imagine or be still enough to choose the emotion you want to experience more of and feel satisfied with that feeling for the sake of feeling good, then you will wait in love, which is biblically a key piece of scripture often misinterpreted. And those are two distinct feelings, two very distinct vibrational offerings. You either feel the satisfaction of having it now, or you do not. But you cannot continue to momentarily feel the feeling of having that which you want. And then when you open your eyes, think, act, assume, behave, and talk about all the reasons why you don't have it. And this includes feeling excited for it coming. That is why in Neville Goddard's teachings, he stresses the importance of living from the end, which is living from the fulfillment of knowing you have the wish fulfilled now, achieved by repeating the process until we believe we have it. What he means in this instance is that you are creating the wish fulfilled within you because it feels good to do so, because in the moment you feel it, you have it, and that becomes enough for you. This removes all wanting, needing, and waiting for it to come forth into the 3D, which is how you detach, let go, or enter the state of allowing. Your job is to allow God, the universe, to unfold for you the path that brings forth your desire, or for it to come directly to you. Your job is to feel the fulfillment of having that which you want now without anything changing in the 3D and be so satisfied with that that you are oblivious to time. It is not under any circumstances part of your job description to think of how you should be making something happen. Why? Because by playing your part in creation, by becoming satisfied with the achieving, the feeling of it, you put yourself in immediate alignment with it. And if you stay there, which you would want to do because it feels so good, that is what will create the exact thought, the exact action and behaviours required to have it in the physical 3D if necessary. Remember, the laws of manifestation can be encapsulated or broken down into one sentence. When we want the rain to stop, we feel the sun. Look at the book of 2 Kings, chapter 3 in the Old Testament. The three kings decided to march their armies through the desert of Edom. After a seven-day journey, they found themselves without water for their troops and animals. Desperate, they approached the prophet Elisha for guidance. Elisha, a successor to the prophet Elijah, initially expressed reluctance, but eventually agreed to help. Elisha called for a musician to play, and as the musician played, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. Now, in various religious and cultural contexts, music has been used to evoke spiritual or transcendent experiences. I use music all the time. It elevates our vibration. It impacts us neurologically. So he put himself into the state where he was aligned with the desired outcome in order to receive the correct thought, action, assumption that was in alignment with the end result. This is how Elisha was then able to prophesize that the valley would be filled with water, even though it seemed impossible given the our conditions. A good reminder that it doesn't matter how negative your 3D conditions are. Elisha also advised the kings to dig ditches in the valley. Remember, the feeling of knowing then creates the thought, inspired action and behavior which leads to the desired end manifesting in the 3D. The next morning, water miraculously flowed into the valley, filling the ditches and providing relief to the armies and animals. The act of digging ditches serves as an expression of faith, which comes from knowing where reality is created and what your job entails in creation, which creates naturally the preparedness for the blessings that are to come. That is why people who are happily content with being single and focusing on their own well-being, in other words, feeling good and complete, attract numerous potential partners wanting a relationship. 
It isn't that the vibration they are offering attracts the opposite, but they are feeling good and feeling good and satisfied within yourself will vibrationally attract people who are in alignment and want more of that feeling too. People are attracted to and respond to and treat you per your vibration, always. That is why whenever you tap into feeling love, you feel true fulfillment and all of your desires come to you all of them. The feeling is always enough. It is your only responsibility. Again, no person and no material object is responding any differently to the vibration you're offering. This is why without making sure you're in alignment vibrationally, which again means you have the right feeling, the words you speak, the texts you write, the actions you take will not serve the desired end result because the how is none of your concern. And this is the same for every subject, money, career, friendship, travel, romance, you name it. Your job is that of alignment first always first. It is time for you to allow that which you desire to come into your life. And if there's any delay, it's because you are unsatisfied with having it within you now. And this happens because you have not understood the significance of how you feel and the cause and the effect this creates in your vibrational human 3D experience. And therefore, there are lessons you are required to learn in order to achieve that. And it will not come until you learn how to align with it. God, the universe, is not withholding anything from you. You are designed to perfection, to be a vessel for this divine energy, our Father to create through you, but he does not give you the opposite to the vibration you are emitting, just because you pleaded with him enough. You will keep receiving what you are asking for vibrationally until you learn to harness your emotions and change the vibration you are offering. That is why God always says yes, yes to every prayer, only your prayer is how you feel. So if you're vibrating lack, upset, fear, loneliness, abandonment, because that is what you're focused upon and what many people experience when they're too consumed by the 3D, that is what God is going to give you more of and vice versa. When you emit the frequency of love because God is love, God says yes and brings forth more reasons, more people, more experiences, more situations, more thoughts, more assumptions to feel love. That is why we are called creators in the spiritual sense and children of God biblically. We are extensions of that divine source energy, that power which created everything and everyone, including the very brain and neurological ability to create our emotions, thoughts, actions, behaviours, moods and assumptions. It is the feeling you are being called to create because it is the feeling you are desiring. This is why after you receive your desire, you will want something else, something more. It will never end. We are designed to expand. You always want more love, more excitement, more adventure, more fun, more joy, more calm, more peace. And you can, with practice, learn to cultivate a deeper, stronger experience of each emotion, which will create more fulfilling 3D life experiences. That is how you create your 3D reality. Everything will always be in alignment with the dominant feeling you are emitting. And by dominant feeling, I mean good or bad. The feeling you are allowing to continue and grow stronger without interruption. But you have to align with the vibration by getting clear on what feeling brings what result. And you test this. You don't have to do it blindly. If you would only sit and say to yourself, here I am, the creator of my world, done so through the creation of my emotions, and that this is done so within me, and therefore what I want is within me now, and I never don't have access to it, no one can ever remove that from me, then any manifestation technique you do will be used to achieve the sole purpose of that satisfaction, of achieving that vibrational alignment, because that is is at the root of what I truly want and that is enough. And when you learn to remain within that emotional state and know that no one and nothing around you needs to change or be any different in order for you to have that feeling that you desire now, you win. 
because that is how everything is brought forth onto the 3D. And the how that vibration becomes a tangible manifestation is God's responsibility. That is why the law of attraction states like attracts like. The universe, the 3D kingdom and earth will have to, have to give you more of who you are conscious of being, which is now satisfied with being in control, satisfied with being the creator and everything will change, but you will be uninterested in it changing anything externally to you. So just to recap over the key points we covered. One, recognize that what you truly seek is the feeling associated with your desires, not the external manifestations. These feelings already exist within you now. Acknowledge them consciously and you tap into that desired state. Two, conscious acknowledgement. Consciously acknowledging and feeling the existence of desired emotions within brings them into the 3D. The goal is not just manifestation, but the satisfaction of knowing you possess these feelings now, irrespective of external conditions. And three, living in satisfaction. Abraham Hicks and Eckhart Tolle emphasize living in the present moment, satisfied with what you have within. Understand that you've always had access to what you want. It's the feeling you desire and that feeling is accessible now. Four, feeling before seeing. Waiting for external changes keeps you in a state of impatience. Neville Goddard teaches living from the satisfaction of having your wish fulfilled, feeling it before physically seeing it. Your job is to allow the universe to unfold the path, emit the vibration of your desires by feeling the satisfaction of having them now. It's not about figuring out how, it's about creating the feeling within. You are a creator. Tap into your divine energy and the 3D will align with the dominant feeling you emit. If you wish to speak more about this one-to-one, -one, the links are in the description box below. And here's what YouTube thinks that you should watch next. With love and forever in the state of wish fulfilled. God bless you.